Hi, this is Ocarina Tycoon, and uh, Masiko was asking about um, trying to keep things in a certain key and about molds. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I used for molds. Well, this one's uh, made out of the uh, Amago uh, air drying clay. I made this one myself. Uh, you see how I got it kind of flattened on one uh, edge and the rest of it's pretty much in a sweet potato fashion yeah I made all my molds in this general shaping so uh, all it takes is a tiny little bit of practice um, and that's it this is this one's solid I didn't try to hollow it out or anything so um, there you go that's for the this is uh, for a soprano uh, sound pitching so Uh, the second one's about an alto range. Uh, it's a little bit larger than the little soprano that I showed you earlier, but yeah, these are these come in handy pretty well. And just, you can see where I cut them open. Yeah, and I've used these several times already. So um, yeah, they're they're not bad. They, they could be fired at least. Uh, but other than that little fact, you know, they they scratch pretty easily when you, if you don't fire them first. So um, that's it for this uh, Alto one. For the tenor size, um, it got a little bit bigger, and compared to the uh, Alto, it's not bad. And then the Soprano, so. You know, when you make your own molds, you can uh, control how large the molds can become, okay? Um, <clears throat> and that way, if you wanted to make more in this particular key, you can always do that. Uh, I suggest, however, that um, you try to hollow these out, too, and fire them and that way they'll last a little bit longer than the ones that I made these ones last <laughs> so uh, yeah these ones got pretty tore up this one this one I'm sure this one got used the most actually uh, now that I think about it and then my standard base uh, shaping and this one actually did get hollowed out so um, if I cover this hole I can uh, well, that wasn't such a great sound. Anyway, yeah, I should really go and get my contrabass uh, mold and show you the difference between that one and my uh, soprano. So uh, I'll be right back. Oh, okay, I'm back. Um, okay, well I got my contrabass um, mold. Here, I'll show you the other ones first so you can get a refreshed idea. It's the soprano. Alto, tenor or so, give or take, whatever. Bass, this one got this one's hollowed out, and here's my contrabass. Right, um, the way you use these though is uh, a little bit different. You just flatten some clay out and wrap it around, seal it up. You wait about 10-15 minutes, you cut it out halfway around uh, the mold, right? Then you just place the halves back together, cut out your sound hole, make a mouthpiece that'll, well actually make yourself a mouthpiece first, uh, then make the hole in the slot and everything, then make your mouthpiece the same width as the slot of your mouthpiece, that way uh, everything's in proportion with itself uh, for that particular ocarina that you decide to make. Um, this one took me about uh, eight hours to make since it was solid clay before. Um, it took about eight, no, no, I'm sorry, this one took me about two or three days to make simply because it was solid. It was all solid and uh, I had to wait for it to dry up a little bit then I had to hollow it out. And yeah, kind of base. So, 
uh, I hope that this gives you a bit more options, a few more options on uh, sizing for your ocarinas. Um, if uh, you decide to use these uh, particular molds, I mean, I have a bunch of them left right now, and I'm not using them. But I'm just saying, if if uh, if you make your own, that'll probably help you out with uh, putting th certain things in a certain key later on. So, um, right, Masiko and everybody on YouTube, good luck, and thanks.